What is up YouTube? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel Breaking Vintage Cards with another great video for you today. 2023 Select is going to be our focus today. And uh, before we get into that, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who is a current subscriber. If you just happen upon the channel, please consider picking up a subscription. It is free. We're not even, we're not selling you anything. How about that? Uh, all your support is really, really appreciated. So before we get into the video, uh, lots going on in the hobby. We had the National a couple weeks back. Then we had Fan Fest. This week is the Burbank going on down in Southern California and uh, lots of card shows going on. We stopped into one of our local card shows over at the Westgate and the hobby is booming. It's thriving. Lots going on and lots of great stuff. So uh, the hobby is well and alive. Thanks for everybody for all your support, everything that you give. Thanks for watching the channel. And now let's get into 2023 Select Baseball. All right, all right, all right. So let's jump into it. Select 2023 Baseball. Five cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Here's the information that you can pause if you want. We are looking for many, many different things. Autographs, memorabilia cards, tricolor prisms, serial number cards. The base set is 300, whopping 300 cards. They're broken up into Concourse, Premier, and Diamond. And uh, yeah, so lots of veterans in here. Obviously it's Panini, so they lost the, uh, you know, they don't have baseball, right? So, um, you know, lots of veterans, lots of, uh, Rookie up-and-comers that didn't get into the uh, ML, ML, uh, PA. what's that thing? You know, the licensing deal. So we're going to rip into it and see what we can see right now. Hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for enjoying the content and checking it out. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, we thank you, thank you for being huge supporters. The box is empty, Steve. We're going to try and rip through this because, by my count, it's about 60 cards. We are expecting two autographs and two memorabilia cards in here. So, let's get into it. Kind of give us an idea of what we got going on here. So, basic stuff, just kind of like the football and their basketball now. Um, you have a little bit of color in there. So, lots of sparkle, lots of shine. That's the concourse design we have back here we're gonna have duke snyder and alfonso soriano and our first insert is going to be how about griff mccrary so he's going to be on the uh rookie side here or on the younger side is uh there's our first prism right there first variation prism i should say this one's got this one's chunky we're gonna leave that one off to the side we'll come back to that hits at the end try and cruise through this here now that you got an idea of what the cards look like really stargell palmero we're pretty veteran heavy so far juan marichelle on the numbers haskell and we are going to have mike musina on the tricolor right there all right Next up, so 12 packs. You know, you can, you can you can get this for probably right around 130, 150. Pete Crow Armstrong, right off the top right there. Pretty nice little rookie. Noma, looks like we're going to have our maybe our first auto in here. I don't know. Let's see. Probably fingers on the prism right there. It is not, but it is Curtis Mead on the Rookie Revolution. Okay, and right behind there, another Juan Marichal. So, um, again, pretty veteran heavy with this stuff. Um, there's another thick pack, so we'll get back to that one. So, two autos, two memorabilia cards. Probably, you know, Jackson Merrill is definitely a chase card, so that's good. Bobby Miller, we got some green in there. We have our Jackson Holiday. Very nice. Jackson Holiday is unnumbered. Tom Glavin on the veteran. That Bobby Miller. And we are going to have a green David Cohn numbered 10 out of 75. Okay, so our first numbered card right there. Let's 
still looking for two autos. I think we found the two uh, the two memorabilia cards. So Brenner Davis, Bobby Snelling. We have Joey Wilmer on the back side. We are going to have Cool Papa Bell, who seems to be in there every year. Seen Cool Papa Bell. We got a pitcher. It's gonna be a uh, let's see. By the numbers, Dennis Eckersley, numbered four of ten. Four of ten on the Eckersley right there. Okay, there's another thick pack, so there's probably a spacer in one of them. Tell us what you think about these cards. I mean, select, I mean, they're cool, right? Unlicensed, obviously. Um, veteran heavy, so I mean, really, you're looking for the autos, probably of veterans. Very, very little on the... Uh, you know, maybe like an Ellie De La Cruz or something like that. Heat Rose on the Unstoppable. Joey Weimer. Got Whitey Herzog. And we have Justin Crawford right there on the Prism. Okay. We're getting down to it. Last few packs here. Just kind of burn through it. Let's see if we can find those autos. Nick Abel. Ichiro. We have an Enfuego on the Sal Freelick, Devison de los Santos, and we are going to have Tyler Gentry. It is going to be on our tricolor right there. All right, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe this is the memorabilia card. We're going to start off with the Raleigh Fingers, Pedro Martinez. We have a cracked, oh no, it's not cracked ice. Sam Crawford right here on the prism. And then right behind there, we have Diego Cartier. Diego is going to be numbered 160 out of 199. On the back side of that, we are going to have Roderick Arias. Sam Crawford, again, not numbered. All right, so we are still in search of our two autos. Two autos. Looks like this is going to be another memorabilia card here. So I was completely wrong. Tony Larusa, folks, wasting money on cards like that kills me. Buster Posey. We have right behind there. We're going to have Miguel Lis, and we are also going to have. I think this is going to be an auto or maybe a rookie patch. How about a Jordan Lawler? Look at that patch right there. Jordan Lawler, very nice, very nice. And is he numbered? He is not. No number on that Jordan Lawler, but it does say it is authentic, but it is not from any specific game. Three packs left, three thick packs. And an RPA, that'd be cool. Let's see, Jim Rice, looks like we have just got a filler. Drew Jones, Drew Jones, we got to have Jacob Misarowski. Oh, let's see, it's not a filler. Joe Tinker and Zach Veen. Zach Veen on the rookie patch auto. How about that? Zach Veen RPA right there. That's cool. So that's going to be our third hit right there. And down to the last two packs. So... Um, again, with the select, you really kind of never know what you're going to get. I mean, it'd be awesome if we hit like a De La Cruz or something like that. Looks like we do finally have a filler. Carson Wisenhunt, Goose Gossage. We have Marcelo Mayer on the... That's not... Man, I am off today. Marcelo Mayer on the prism. And on the back side, we are going to have, for Colorado, Drew Romo. And now we have another Rookie Patch Auto, Sal Freelich. Two Rookie Patch Autos and two Mems right there. Uh, three of them are <laughs> three of them are rookies. That's pretty, pretty damn good box right there, I would say. So right on, last pack. Let's see what we can get. Looks like we got all of our hits. Maybe we get an extra hit. Who knows? Probably not. Wait, it's Panini. We don't get extras. No. Steve Carlton. 
Jack Morris. We do have Eddie Matthews. We have our filler card. We also have Tim Wakefield. And right behind this Jack Morris, we have Tim Salmon on the... What do they call that one? The Painted? I think it was. That's something like that. Anyways, it's 13 out of 25 on the Tim Salmon prism right there. So that is going to do it. I'm sure there's a couple other prisms that were in here that I skipped over. But I will say, I think it was a pretty successful box. Uh, again, you can pick it up for about 130 bucks. All right, so there it is. No zebras, nothing super crazy, but some definitely some good cards in there, some good numbered cards. Um, I would say overall, pretty good box. Pretty good box uh, for the price point and uh, something that I would, I'd consider picking up again, even though it's the non-licensed stuff. Hey, baseball is baseball, sports is sports, and cards are cards. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again for everybody's support. Until next time, my friends, sports do not build character. They only reveal it. And we are out of here. Take care of everybody.